So I did a, a viola lee way back when, when I was just a puppy in terms of playing. And so I'm just putting a slightly cleaner one up, it's still acoustic. Um, and uh, it's mostly just a sort of a feeling for it because it's, it's a song that has G7, G7. And then a C7. And then a G7. And then the turnaround is F, C, G. Okay, so the song itself starts off with this nice G7. You know, we all know the C7, you know, just a C with a pinky on there. C7, D7, E7, F7, G7. So this kind of nice... This is all in the fifth and sixth strings on the first and third frets. This is one of those things that the actual notes, if played without oomph, sound a little dull, so. a simple little thing there but it's that sort of it's that whole it's the whole emphasis so this G7 if you're just fretting it I'm changing out the pinky on the third string of the of the third uh, fret of the high E string to the to the first fret. You know, it's just that. But what I do is I go. I'm I'm doing a bass hit and then picking up. You know, basically. The, So a riff like that has two components. One is that it's, um, it's, so this pinky, this uh, middle finger sliding up. And then that point, pointy finger goes down to the first fret. So. So it has three components, that one going up to the, and then sliding down to the first one, then the, the G again. That's the C7. So this walk, so it's just pretty much. Right? F, C. And then on the C, I drop the, uh, the E off it to just, to get this open. To So the whole thing sounds like this. Okay, so this 
is five, three, five, three, three, five, three, three, five, three. Three, five, three. But I'm just holding these two and just hammering on the five. So we're landing on this G here. So in the jam, right, we have this G, G7. Two measures of that and then the C7. So, when we're on the G, here's your G note low and here's the octave up. Those are two good notes. You know, sliding down to seven. C is right here. That's one way I think of the underpinning structure of it. See so this. Another turnaround besides the is So I'm just basically taking my G. So let's say I'm taking this G right here. Notes above the G. C. Back to G. Now this uh, this G um, here we're going from the eight to the seven there. So um, all kinds of different things you can just kind of follow. You can, you can start these. Right here, 
here I'm just following the octave. So there's the F. Now the rhythm player, if you're playing with a with a Bobby's, he's going to be hitting these sevens. So if you go into a major, It has a feeling, it's something you can do, or you can stay in the seven. Found is that sometimes when I'm singing, repeat it, click it, wrote it, wrote it down and deed it, decreed it, took it, wrote it down. That I, I've got a friend somewhere. So when I was singing, if I'm by myself, I don't go, does decreed it, click it, wrote it, wrote it, down and deed it, decreed it, click it, wrote it down. You know, it's too much to be organizing, to be organizing all of the elaboration while you're singing. So sometimes what happens is you, you do a, You know, 
leave the elaborations for when you're not actually singing. Um, I think that's mostly it. You know, there are there's a nice world to be. nice because here I'm doing the G, G7, and then the C. Those are just some thoughts on viola. Um, it's uh, it's obviously better with a couple people than one, but if you're doing it by yourself, you've got like you know all these different things you can do. That kind of stuff. You've got the. Got all that. You've got this intro. You've got that. By the way, this whole is kind of nice because the, I always think of, uh, I thought love was pretty much fairy tale. You know, that's got that, it's got that monkey's feeling to it. So anyway, um, that's about all I have to say on viola. Um, that's it. <laughs>